One Punch Man. Now, One Punch Man is interesting because a lot of people hate season two, but I I like season two. I didn't really. I watched both seasons back to back. I watched One Punch Man after season two aired. Uh, I think season. Uh, I think I watched it in 2019. I think late 2019. But yeah, I I didn't really notice any drop in quality. I just kind of like binge through the entire thing. I, I tried to watch One Punch Man once before, uh, and I got to the part in episode one where I was just like a crab guy, and I'm like, I, and he was like, I ate too much crab, so now I'm a crab, and I'm like, what is this? And I turned it off. But then I watched it later, and I liked it. You know, it's obviously a very weird anime, w- weird premise, and I kind of want to watch Mob Psycho because I think Mob Psycho is like Attack on Titan. Not, I don't even know why I said Attack on Titan. One One Punch Man, but it seems interesting. I feel like uh, Mob Psycho is more plot oriented. I'll give this. I'll give this an eight. Uh, I'll give both of them an eight because once again, didn't really notice any. Let me look. So eight point five six and then seven point four one. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, it's like, an, it's like an entire point down. So yeah, those two. Then oh, next one. Next one's great. Okay, we have erased. Erased was. A race. When I first finished it, I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is amazing! I love it." And got it, it got into my number five, like, like top five anime. But then after I took a step back, I was like, "Was it really that good?" The ending was kind of like I remember watching the ending and texting my friend like, "Okay, I just finished the race, and I don't know if I hate the ending or I, or I really like it. But I don't know if it was like genius or absolutely stupid." But I think one of the reasons why I like it, honestly, is just because I. Which actually, okay, I think, I th- think if I watch this video back and I realize I didn't say any big spoilers, then I probably will cut out any spoilers that I said, and cu- and probably like when I when I said the part that said heavy spoilers, uh, I I'll probably just like uh, correct and be like, okay, this is actually no spoilers, spoiler free, because I really don't think there's any point putting a spoiler warning. But, but I predicted, uh, I predicted a major plot twist. With the, I, what is that spoiler? Okay, I'll, I'll cut that out. Um, yeah, but anyways, I predicted a major plot point that kind of made me feel good. I was like, yeah, I, I know how to, I know things, but I really don't know things. You know, it was just kind of obvious. But I, I'll say Erased. I don't want to give another anime an 8. But honestly, I, uh, should I give it a 9? I'll, I'll, I'll give it an 8. Everything, if you go on my list, it'll just be 88888. But, uh, what's next? Uh, race. Oh, oh, oh no. This is gonna be a tough one. Not tough because, okay, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I don't understand how everyone thinks. Okay, I, I understand, but I do not think that this is the masterpiece that everyone says it is. I, I just don't. I, I I really don't. I think honestly, uh, my personal opinion is gonna sway as well. Uh, I'll say objectively it's a nine, but I'm gonna bring it down to an eight just because I don't like it that much. I like okay. I, no, I liked it. I just when you watch something and think, oh yeah, that was pretty good, but then everyone on the planet is like, this is the best thing ever. Then you kind of like look at it, like you kind of like it a little less because. It's not nearly the what the hype has led you up to. So, I'll say 8. Haiku. This one has a lot. It has season 1, season 4, season 2, season 4, part 2, season... Is this? Yeah, season 3. I need to make sure that wasn't like a movie or anything. And I'm not doing the OVAs. So, I'll start off with season 1. And season one, season one was probably one of the weaker seasons, just definitely because of the fact that. And this wasn't this isn't anything against Haiku. I feel like th- I think uh, the author of the manga did this on purpose, but because Kageyama and Hina does it, most of their moves was based on solely the quick attack. So every battle was you know solely just a quick attack, but it was still good. I really like the um, the match at the end of the season. It was great, you know. Uh, and I didn't predict the end result until like the very last second like very last you know like when, when anime gives you some sort of clues as to what when it's like a hype moment for a certain team 
and you're like, okay, okay, is that really what's going about to happen right now? But yeah, I'll say, I'll say it's an eight, but but don't worry, eight eight's gonna be gone. Uh, season two, I just realized half the seasons are like training arcs, so maybe I should bring that down. No, no, I've committed. I'll bring, I'll give this one a nine. I the the match at the end of season two is definitely my favorite. Definitely, I love it so much. Great, so nine. Close to a masterpiece, but not quite. Season four, part two. Hold on, let's backtrack uh, to season three. Season three. A lot of people like I've heard people say like you know ten episodes for a match, but like this was five sets, so you know you'd expect the match to be a little longer. But, uh, should I bring this back down to an 8? No, this has one of my favorite moments. Honestly, I'll say 9. 9 as well. Season 1 was definitely the weakest. And then, Season 2 and 3, amazing. Season 2 I definitely still prefer. But, yeah, Season 4 though. Season 4. Honestly, just because where am I? Is this it? Yeah. So this was completely just a training arc step for, like, one or two matches so honestly I'll, I'm gonna give it a seven yeah also I do not like Dark Souls I get that's better that's more faithful to the manga but you know and I, I appreciate that that they're sticking to the manga but I just don't like it I really don't like what do they do to like Asahi like even just all the characters I I don't but uh what's where is season four Part two. This I like. I think I'll give it another eight. You know, it was it was a good match. It had I feel like it had a lot of moments, but there was one in the, in the middle of the match. They get cut away to another match, and it's like, really? Can we just continue on with this right now? Like, can we save that for later? But it was lo love it. Love haiku. Great. Eight. Good. That's Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now and move on to the next one. Also, I realized I've kind of been whispering. Hopefully, I can just turn up whenever I'm quiet and post. But, uh, next one. Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT are listed separately on here, but I'll just, I might as well do all of them. Uh, first, let me close out all these tabs. Um, alright. So, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Haven't seen Dragon Ball Kai. Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT. Those are all the ones I'll do for now. Dragon Ball. I say, I'll say, this was definitely, this was definitely one of the strongest in the series. I, I I'll, because uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z are just so different. That's hard to say. Um, I don't, uh, I really wish you can do like a 0.5 system on here, you know, like 7.5. If there was a 7.5, I'd probably give it that. Um, I'll say, I'll, I'll say 7. At its peak, it was probably around 8 or 9. Uh, the tournaments were great, I love that. But kind of like aimless wandering... You know, that was cool to the oh yeah the, the um, non permanence of death which became a real problem in Z right now just oh yeah if a character happens to die then they'll get revived but um yeah also Master Roshi hit him Bulma she's really annoying Yamcha was actually kind of useful here you know characters they were more useful here but they were still not really that useful like the red whole red ribbon RB Goku kind of sold them. Also, it kind of feels like, in this counts for the entire se season that, or the series, that Toriyama, he was just kind of like making it up as he goes. Like, not the arcs. Like, I think the arcs, he had a set plan. But, like, I feel like there's no real foreshadowing. And, you know, the Dragon Balls were just really a plot device. And, okay, okay let me go back to the, um, it feels like he makes it up as he goes. Like, each character is meant to be like the strongest light form on earth and they are until another character pops up and for Frieza it's like okay this is the strongest guy in the, the universe which I guess King Cold exists but this is the strongest guy in our um, dimension 
and hold on just my text but and yeah so goku defeats him from super saiyan and then like first of all like 10 episodes later probably not even like 10 episodes he just ascends that that strength so like wh why was that even that instrumental of a feat and then two then Cell shows up and he's like, okay, this is a new creation. And Boo, who's just always been there, he's always been the villain. He's always existed. But I'm getting ahead of myself, so that's that. Uh, I'll say they're both seven. But they're still good. I like them a lot. Object objectively, which I have to remember, I have to keep it objective, they're not that great. They're a solid beat here. So Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Super. Mm, I guess I guess I have to drop it down to a six. I guess I have to just because the freeze arc wasn't that great. Cause it was made from a movie and it was short, and you can tell that it was short. And yeah, the tournament of power was cool, but it was kind of boring. I'll go to fine. Dragon Ball GT. This is this the first one I've given a bad. This might be the first one I've given a bad. But I'm gonna have to give it a bad. I just no. I feel like I've I've given. I feel I think I gave Promise Neverland season two a bad. I feel like this is on the same level as Promise Neverland season two. Honestly, I'll give it a three. It's just not good. But the ending kind of saved. Actually, actually, the endings the ending saved it. So I'll give it a bad. The the OP was great. P, baby. People are like, okay, just do you just skip the first part. Baby saga. Baby Saga is when it really gets good. It's like, okay, it, it improves, but still not good. Um, yeah, Goku becoming a kid, that was cool, I guess. Didn't really make that much of an impact on the story. But hold on, I need to, like, silence my phone. Uh, okay. And, wait, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. And, you know, it was just not that great. The, it was just boring. I don't know why, honestly. There's just something about it just didn't interest me. Maybe it was because we they like only they narrowed down the characters. I don't know. I like the Dragon Ball hunts in the original, but for some reason it just felt like a bad copy of it. Okay, Blue Exorcist. Actually, this video is gonna be pretty long. Let's f actually I'll probably cut out a lot a lot of stuff out. But okay, um, I don't know Exorcist, and I think this is Kyoto Saga. Gives Kyoto Fujo Hen. I I don't know Japanese. Don't make fun of me. Actually, I buy. I am going to learn. I think hopefully. Uh, Blue Exorcist. Blue Exorcist to me was an anime that exists. You know, it's just there. It's a shonen anime, and it's not like it's a st it's a generic shonen anime. The premise is cool. I really like the premise. It's just it's but the the quality of it is just there so I'll say a seven it's it's good you know Kyoto Saga you know I was, at first I was confused because I was watching this directly off of Blue Exorcist original and I was like why are why are we back in time but I searched it up and I was like oh okay this makes sense but still still it's good did I, did I give this one a seven I did I, I okay I did my memory sucks Okay, this next one. Oh, this is another one of those anime that are kind of there. Although, if it does get a season two, I will watch it. Because I did like season one. This was kind of like an anime that, you know, I watched it. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of don't give it enough credit. It actually kind of slap. Yeah, I feel like, on one hand, it's kind of like a One Punch Man wannabe or whatever. But on the other hand, it, it, it was different in its own way. You know, he's just overly cautious. He can do... Whatever he wants, I guess I, I I'm not describing it well at all. It's a good anime, and I think that's just what I'll put it as good. You know, it's not it's not up to the to the very good standards just yet. But season season two, season two might might be great. Uh, and that's it. Oh, next one, Death Note. Yay, Death Note. I think this is the first. Nope, this is, it's, I was going to say, this might be the first one where I said it before searching it up, but I feel like I've definitely said it, some of the animes before searching them, but Death Note was good. Actually, objectively, honestly, I've been reading a couple stuff in light, but you did kind of do some stupid stuff, 
and some yeah some of the mind games were kind of dumb and plot devicey but overall i think it was a nine season one or uh, like the first arc was great and then kind of dropped off but nine great that's i mean yeah I'm, i'll stick with that demon slayer Demon Slayer, Kamitsu no Yaiba, excited for Mugen Train, Mugen Resha Hen. Um, I think this is another one. This is like a there, but slightly above there. So I'll give it an 8. I'll give it a there. No, I'll give it a good. The first part's just so boring. You know, like the first couple episodes before the, uh, he meets, or like the, he's not, Tanjios and Nezuko aren't the only main characters. It's just so boring. Okay. Oh, this is a, this is a good one. Rascal does not dream. It should come up. Ye no, not the movie. I have not seen the movie. I've only seen the anime. And this is, I feel like this is a fine anime. It's not, it's not anything too special. There are two main plot lines that I liked, and I won't go into it. The concept of puberty syndrome, great. But, which actually, when I watched it, it was actually called ad adolescent syndrome. But I don't know why, but like later, it was like called like puberty syndrome, which I feel like adolescent syndrome is just better. But this, this is fine. You know, I, I liked it. It was, it was, it wasn't a bad anime. It was, it was it was good, you know. With some of the there were it, there were like a lot of mini arcs in it, and when when I was recommended it, I heard that like it, like it made people cry, and I was like, oh, it is sad, and it it was kind of sad, but still nothing too crazy. All right, this is this is this is an interesting one. Class classroom of the elite, baby. I I actually really like this one. Uh, minus points for. Uh, all of the fan service, but and also uh, foreshadowing and and building up stuff that don't happen because there's no season two. Why is there no season two? I think because this one didn't like sell that well or something. But I want to read the books because I tried reading the manga, but like I saw like the, the facial. There were way too many facial expressions. So I'm like, I searched it up. Like, is the manga even good? They're like, oh, just read the light novel. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'll do that. So I guess I'll do, I still haven't done that, but I guess I'll do that. Um, I'd say just because there's no season two, like I want there to be a season two. If there's a season two, I probably would like it a lot. But even without season two, there was still a lot of good plot points. I'd recommend this anime. Just even though there's no real season two. Like I, cause I've heard that the ending of the anime is like the actual real beginning of the story, which I completely believe. But even, like, without knowing that, you can still see it as kind of an ending, I guess. But I, I liked it. it. It's a good anime. The characters weren't really that fleshed out except for, like, a couple. But then I feel like that's all the... All, all the bad things kind of like came as a result of uh, of not of being, like, cut off early. Except the, the fan service, which there was no need to because it originally came from a book. So, like, you're not going to put fan service into a book. But whatever. Okay, so Giant Ball Z and Giant Ball GT already done that. Oh, 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 this is a good one. Oh, can I spell? Hopefully. Kaguya sama, love is war. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Gosh darn it. Okay. Both of these, I feel like they were pretty consistent in quality. I'll give these both a nine. And that seems really high, giving, considering that I didn't give a lot of anime nines. But, I, it's funny, how can I be objective with something that's pure comedy? Right? Like, there's no real overarching storyline. Like, okay, there's a very loose overarching storyline, but it's just comedy. I can't be objective with that. Alright, and I liked it a lot. What are you gonna... Oh wait, oh, hold on. Hold on. Let's, can we load please? 
Thank you. Yeah, so I'm gonna give a nine to both of them. Oh, season two I got a higher airing or higher rating than season one. That's interesting. But yeah, season two nine, and uh, you can at me and I realize I'm giving this a higher score than my second favorite anime for a lot of the seasons. But again, okay, my hurt Amy, that's that that's a shonen anime. I can rank that objectively. I can't do that with this. So nine, great. Next, ooh. Ooh, this is a good one. It's wait, is it though? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 it. Wait, no. Okay, yeah, Attack on Titan. That's a good one. I was I was reading the one after that. Uh, no, okay, yeah, this one has a lot. Season one. Oh, oh, I'll 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 rate this too. I guess. Season two, season three, season three, part two. The final season, and I think that's it. The, just beware, there might be another 10 coming. So, uh, Shingeki no Kyojin, season 1, I'd say that's a 10. Just the plot and the battle for trust, that whole storyline. Oh, uh, and then after with the, 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 the Titans, and I guess. That's not really saying much because you know, there there are titans in it. It's Attack on Titan, but it's a masterpiece. Gosh darn it! All right, it's a masterpiece. No, oh okay. Well, I, let's take a break to do this. Um. Ah, let's let's do this. I don't know what to say about this. It was interesting. It's definitely definitely interesting it, like it feels like a fanfic definitely does but I like the homages you know like they recreate scenes in the actual anime but obviously less less serious and like more like comedic it felt like a, it's like a parody of Attack on Titan and if you like Attack on Titan and you like comedy I'd recommend it I feel like I feel like you'll like it and I feel like this rep represents the Attack on Titan fandom more this anime but I'll I'll say yeah, but the plot wasn't really to any. I'll, I'll, this is fine. It's a fine anime. And what's the season two? Season two actually, it it introduced a, a a a very interesting titan that I won't name, but it's still and it had a reveal, a plot twist that probably one of the best plot twists in the show. But at the same time, it didn't really do much for me. It didn't really do much for me. So season two completed okay season three part one i'm glad they separated this one to two things because i think this one's a nine the 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 whole you know humans against not the other other people uh that's great like a lot great also if you trying to avoid spoilers probably shouldn't read the synopsis probably should steer your eyes away from that but I'll say it's definitely an improvement from season two. Still not as good as season one. But oh baby, Shingeki no Kyojin season three part two. Now this is what I'm talking about. Probably this is definitely my favorite arc in the entire the entire um, Attack on Titan. I just love it so much. The the episode I think it's called Hero. It's uh, probably my favorite, one of my favorite anime episodes, just in general. I hope it. I, I wish there's a way to like pin this one to the top so you will know. Yeah, this is this is number one. Well, actually, okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna make that claim. I will not. I'm not gonna make that claim. But, uh, ooh, 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 that's great. This one, the final season, the, the art style changed a bit, jarring to to me. But I'll still give it. Mm, I understand what they're going for, and I still like it. So somewhere between a nine and eight. Actually, ob objectivity, objectivity. I'm gonna give it a nine. Nine, but again, swayed by personal opinion. Kind of like flip flopping a bit, but you know that's just it's whatever. What's next? Angel beats. Yeah, I I, I still have a lot more to go. Oh boy. I did not anticipate this being so long. Maybe I shouldn't have done separate seasons. 
So I there's 39 anime in total, plus the three kid shows I did at the beginning. Plus, I think I'm going to do one movie, Silent Voice, which I'll get to that later. That might be my uh, topping off. Actually, there's actually more, because there, I don't put in, I didn't put anime that I've, I'm currently watching, which includes One Piece, and that's about it. Although, I'll, I will put Jojo's Bizarre Adventure on there, because I've, I finished part one, onto part two. Uh, Angel Beats. I'll give it a seven. It's good. The plot, it's, it's good. The ending, oh, oh boy, oh boy, gets it, oh, it got me. Definitely got me. It, mmm, loved that. Or hated it, I, I still don't know. But, yeah, it, it hit hard with the overall arcing plot. It was, it was just, it, it was good. It was good. You know, meh, it was, yeah, okay, it was good. 